Hello viewers! Have you noticed that revs in your car go up and down while idling, although you are not touching the throttle? Besides being annoying, this clearly indicates something's wrong with the engine. And this is a problem you don't want to ignore, as it can only get worse with time. So with that in mind, let's see what might be causing this issue. Revving up and down at idle can happen because of several things, including a dirty throttle body, intake leaks, issues with the EGR or PCV system, or the throttle pedal itself. But let me explain each of these in more detail. The first thing I would check here is the throttle body, which sits on the intake manifold and controls how much air is going into the engine. Over time, the throttle plate inside it and surrounding surfaces may get covered with carbon buildup, preventing smooth operation. When this happens, the ECU might struggle to maintain a steady idle, causing it to be uneven. The same might happen if the sensors or actuators on the throttle body are faulty and are sending incorrect signals to the ECU. Next, we have the intake leaks, through which unmetered air enters the engine. This can be anything from a cracked vacuum hose to a leaking intake manifold or loose connections. This extra air offsets the precise air-fuel balance on which the engine relies to run smoothly and efficiently, which is usually most prominent at idle. If severe enough to substantially lean the mixture, the intake leak might also trigger a check engine light on the dashboard. Then I'd also mention the EGR system, which returns a portion of burnt exhaust gases back into the engine to reduce emissions. This flow is controlled by the EGR valve, whose inside usually gets all covered up with soot, which then prevents it from closing and opening properly. And when that happens, you'll have exhaust gases entering the intake manifold when it shouldn't, such as when idling, which then messes up the idle speed and may cause the revs to jump up and down. It's much the same with the PCV system, whose job is to vent the oily fumes from the crankcase into the intake. Again, we have the PCV valve here to control the flow, and if it breaks, it's usually the membrane inside that cracks, this will most likely result in erratic idle or even occasional stalling. In addition, you might notice the oil consumption has gone up if this is the case, and the intake manifold will be covered with an oily layer from the inside. Then we have the throttle pedal itself, which in modern cars isn't physically linked to the throttle body. Instead, there is a sensor inside it telling the ECU how much you've pressed the throttle, and the ECU then opens the throttle accordingly. This technology is called drive-by wire. But if the throttle position sensor is faulty, in many cases this will be due to dirt buildups inside it, it will send inconsistent signals to the ECU, leading to unstable idle. Now, as you've seen so far, several sensors and electronic components are involved in governing the idle speed. This also means there's some wiring connecting all these bits together. If this wiring and the connectors are damaged or loose in any way, this may obstruct the communication and mess up the idle. Lastly, there are a couple of things specific to older cars, which usually have a cable that physically connects the throttle pedal and the throttle body on the intake. It may get frayed, stretched or be improperly adjusted, which can prevent the throttle from closing fully, resulting in inconsistent idling. In addition, most cars with cable-operated throttle have an idle air control valve to regulate the engine's speed by adjusting the amount of air bypassing the throttle plate when it's fully closed. Over time, this valve can get clogged with carbon deposits, restricting airflow and leading to erratic idle behavior. And yes, one more thing. If you notice the idle occasionally goes up and down while the AC is on, this might be perfectly normal. This is because the engine drives the AC compressor, which takes away some power. So when the compressor kicks while idling, it usually causes a slight jump in the RPM. Having gone through all the common causes of unstable idle engine speed, we shall now see what you can do to fix it. I'd start by checking for store trouble codes, as these can help you narrow down the problem. 
Simply plug in your OBD2 device in the car's diagnostic port and scroll down to the trouble codes menu where you'll see if there are any. Anything related to the throttle body, throttle position sensor or air fuel mixture will almost definitely have an effect on the idle speed. Even if there are no codes, you can still use the scanner to monitor the engine's vital operational parameters while it's running. To do so, find and enter the live data menu, where you'll find things like how much the throttle and the EGR valve are opened, what readings the throttle position sensor is giving and so on. For instance, on idle the EGR should be fully closed, the throttle pedal position should be at 0% and the throttle itself should be only a few percent opened, just enough not to choke the engine. And if you see any variations here, especially if they coincide with the fluctuations in idle speed, that's your culprit. Moving along to more physical stuff, starting with the throttle body. In many cases, you'll solve the idle speed issues by cleaning it. This is a simple procedure. You remove it from the engine bay and wash it off with brake cleaner and a microfiber cloth to wipe away dirt and grime. In addition, you'll probably have to recalibrate the throttle body after fitting it back, which is done by a diagnostic tool. If you want to know more about how all this is done, we have a separate video covering the whole procedure in detail. On the other hand, if you drive an older car with a cable-operated throttle body, I'd suggest checking and cleaning the idle air control valve, as it's more likely this is what's causing the revs to jump up and down. Much like with the throttle body, the procedure, which is covered in detail in one of our previous videos, includes removing the valve, cleaning it with carb cleaner spray and towels, and fitting it back. Another thing I do is check the intake for vacuum leaks, which tend to produce a characteristic hissing sound most notable on idle. The areas you want to inspect span from the air filter box and the MAF sensor to the engine itself. If suspecting there is a leak somewhere, spray a bit of brake cleaner around that area. If there is a leak, this will cause a short rise in idle speed. Still, the most effective and precise way to identify vacuum leaks is with a smoke test, but for this, you'll need a smoke generating machine. If this doesn't help, I'd focus on the PCV valve to see if it allows excess oily fumes into the intake. As a quick test, you can disconnect the PCV hose and temporarily seal off the port on the intake into which it connects. If the idle speed becomes stable with this makeshift solution, it's very likely that your PCV valve is broken. If that's not the case, the next step would be the EGR system and a thorough inspection of the engine wiring. But if you reach this far without any success, I suggest taking your car to a professional mechanic, because it's possible the problem is too complex for a do-it-yourself repairs and requires expert diagnosis. So there you have it, viewers. Those would be the most common causes of unstable idle and the ways to fix the issue. I hope this video was helpful and if so, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. On the other hand, if you're having some different issues with your car, be sure to check other videos here or visit our site, mechanicbase.com, for detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!